gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report and the return of Feedback Friday. Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Hero here in the PWR studios Fish on Friday, Friday is February 20, uh, January 23rd, 2015, and it is Royal Rumble weekend, David. It is. It is the Royal Rumble weekend. Big weekend from WWE, a big weekend from PWR as well. Again, the return of Feedback Friday and tomorrow night. It's an all-new edition of the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time. We go one hour, 60 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, on Broadway with Ric Flair. Well, Ric Flair won't be there, but you know what I'm saying. Tomorrow night you on My24 Milwaukee and at PWRshow.com. I think in uh, his current state, I could. I could wrestle him for an hour. I wouldn't want to. You have to carry him for an hour. That'd be fine. You saw what Big Show did to him on Monday night. Uh, one punch, done. Yeah. Indeed, folks. Well, on the heels of last night's WWE SmackDown, where we saw the returns of Dolph Ziggler, Eric Rowan, I'm sorry, Luke Harper, no, and no, 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 Eric no, 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 Rowan. No, no. I get them so confused. They're interchangeable. And Ryback, Ryback and Ziggler qualifying for the Rumble. Are you saying that because they're from the South? I'm saying that because they they're are similar men. in stature and name and appearance. Okay. That's... We'll Sounds talk much fun. more about the actions on SmackDown last night, tomorrow night, on PWR Primetime, Saturday night. Again, one full hour tomorrow. But let's get to the feedback, folks. And what we do on this show is we talk about what you have had to say to us over our last broadcast. Oh, now, while our last broadcast was two weeks ago, we did get some interesting feedback from some of you, especially on our YouTube channel. So let's go to the first one. And we talked a little about believability. And I think more so you did, David Hero, in reference to Brock Lesnar going up against a Dolph Ziggler where you said something to the effect of, you know that sound it makes when a fly hits the windshield? Oh yeah, I did say that, didn't I? Well, a user on YouTube by the name of Dre Nova had to say this, and I quote, I hate when you guys say something isn't believable like Dolph versus Brock and disregard it. It's wrestling. Anyone can beat anyone. The match would be great. Have you ever seen a Jet Li movie? How big was Bruce Lee? Is The Undertaker realistic? Undertaker can shoot lightning, but we can't have a little guy, Lil, versus Brock. STFU, is that John Cena's finishing move? Yeah, I think it was. STFU, get over yourselves, you sound out of touch. You need a good boom to the back of the head. Yeah, I think was the intended yeah. typing there. He's an idiot. Well, come on now. It's he a viewer. Just, he just a man who listens he, to you and he, hears he what you say about the Undertaker here on this program. shooting out lightning and the Undertaker shooting lightning out of his hands couldn't beat Brock Lesnar. So what makes you think Dolph Ziggler can do it? Huh? And no, well, I've he didn't shoot lightning at and, WrestleMania and, and, and last year. No, I've never seen a Jet Li movie. And I think Bruce Lee was this tall. The, that's Bruce Hollywood. Lee or Bruised Lee, the Cabbage Patch Kid? Pale, garbage Pail Kid? I never had those. Really? Yeah. No cards? Got, no, no, You didn't have Garbage Pail Kid no, cards? No, I, I, really? I had baseball cards. Football cards. Did you have a Cabbage Patch but you're, doll? It's Hollywood. But my Little movies. Pony? No, I never had a My Little Pony. You did? Absolutely not. <sighs> Why is it not believable that a Dolph, uh, a Dolph Ziggler versus Brock Lesnar match, or someone similar in size to Dolph Ziggler, could go up against the Brock Lesnar and have believability in that matchup? Why can't that happen? Sure, they can have a competitive match, but he's not going to beat them. And that's what you're saying with believability. Is it believable that a person of that um, size Anyone could beat can Brock Lesnar? Fight anybody. anybody can wrestle anybody. Anybody can box anybody. But the fact of the matter is Brock Lesnar is a beast. Incarnate. And, and, and no, Dolph Ziggler could not beat Brock Lesnar. Well, he Lesnar. could. Right scenario, right situation. But In should he? In a WWE should he? title match? Absolutely not. Keep in mind, folks, The Undertaker <clears throat> is the man who was defeated by Brock Lesnar. Yes, he was. He ended the streak at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. John Cena sort of kind of beat Brock well, Lesnar. Hold on a second. We're going to be in San Jose, right? For WrestleMania 28, absolutely. I hope Dre Nova sh shows up. 28? Where the hell did I just go? 31. Yeah. <laughs> where, where are you today, bro? I am uh, sitting You're here in Milwaukee, back to Wisconsin. The future. No, I hope Dre Nova 1 shows up. I'd love to debate this with him as he tries to give me a savat kick to the back of the headers. Well, you know, tomorrow night on primetime, Linda's going to have more names announced for the shenanigans party, the VIP club party, uh, happening in San Jose at part, uh, as part of WrestleMania weekend in the event. Center. Seriously, what an idiot. Keep, are you hot? Keep, I am. Keyboard what? warrior. He would never say that to us if we were standing in front of him. Really? I Is that a challenge? Are you levying no, a challenge, David? I'm just David saying. Hero? He's a coward. He would never do it. Speaking he of cowards, he I understand. not walk up to me and, and talk to me like that, face to face. Would your feelings be hurt? If he talked to me, it depends on his breath, which I'm sure is brutal. 
Speaking of coward, Five, tomorrow two, night we have received in the PWR offices just earlier this week a video from Abyss as you have failed to answer his challenge in the 30-day time frame that he gave you. He wants me to get rid of you, fire you. And you can't do it. It's the perfect scenario, folks. It this, really is. But you put me in this spot. Tomorrow night on Primetime, you'll see that video from Abyss to you, one David Hero. Let's go to our next comment. And this is regarding our program changes we talked about in the last episode of PWR Primetime. And this comes from a user by the name of SN1281. Is that the real name? No, like on the birth certificate? I'm, I'm sure it's an, Maybe it's a nickname. acronym for something. The show not appearing every week is a big blow to my weekends to be honest but i totally understand it is very unfortunate that what has become of the wrestling business i'm happy the show will still continue in some capacity sometimes less turns out to be more even when you aren't expecting it to much respect to all of pwr as close as we will ever get to a modern heenan monsoon who'd be heenan who'd be monsoon i don't know i'm definitely no heenan you're definitely no heenan no you're, you're monsoon, though. Great comments. Thank you so much for that. And as you heard, uh, if you watched our last episode, we are indeed now on a monthly basis uh, with PWR Primetime, but expanding to a full one hour. Uh, and I, that one hour show tomorrow night. Yeah, right it will here be tomorrow night. On and I, same you channel. know what? For as, I don't want to say a certain word, but for as stupid, I guess, as our first guy was, wow. I appreciate kindness and respect out of, the, out of this last viewer. I do. Well, the final comment, though, folks, comes in a response to the comment about the authority needing, needing to be back on television due to the lack of heels in WWE. This comes from Mike San Gregorio, who says, and I quote, Whose fault is it that there's not a strong enough heel other than an authority figure? It certainly shouldn't be an authority figure. It should be an active roster member. Okay, here we go again. Here we go again on our own. Everyone is given an opportunity at one point to a degree. or another. To a degree. To a degree. If you get TV time, you're given an opportunity. To a degree. If you are given TV time, you are given an opportunity. Doesn't matter if it is two minutes or five minutes, okay? All the heels have had an opportunity to get a reaction from the crowd, the audience, the at-home audience or the live or, or, or the live crowd to boo or cheer. Every heel has, you know, every good guy, every bad guy has given that. No one's done it yet. No one captures, none of the heels capture the kind of heat that the authority gets. Why? Because most people dislike authority. They dislike their boss. So there's that built-in connection why they want to hate them. When if you think about it, all Triple H and Stephanie have done is been what has been best for business. They've given good matches, good opportunities. Wouldn't you agree? I, to a degree, I agree. Okay. Name, name, name the three heels on the show that are not authority. The three heels on the show that are not authority. Yeah. Big Show? He's part of the authority group. Mm, no. Yeah, he is. Okay. okay. Name three, you can't do it. <laughs> he didn't give me a chance. Okay, I named one. Ahead. I'll name a second one. Okay. Uh, that would be, well, they're not really heels, but Rusev is a heel. He is a heel, absolutely, yes. But how is he a heel? Because he's anti-America. He's been given that opportunity, and it helps that he has the hot chick with him. Lana, Lana, won't because you Because you want to hate Rusev because he's with her also. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at one. No, that's two. No, we're not. Big Show, he, Rusev. Big Show doesn't count. Does not? He's with the Bray authority. Wyatt. Bray Wyatt is not a heel. He may play a bad guy, but, oh, he, TV. but he doesn't get the reaction, I hate saying this, of a true heel. Right? If it's he's arguable. Really, if he's really a bad guy, 15,000 people aren't holding up their cell phones when he comes out with the music. All right, fair enough. Uh, because, no, 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 not fair enough. Well, that's, you can uh, say it. Say, hey, you're right. This week's edition of Feedback Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, it's an all-new edition of PWR Primetime. We've got Be the Booker for the Royal yes, Rumble, which is Sunday on pay-per-view. Lots to talk about there, including 
what is going on with The Undertaker? What is going on with Sting? Is Brock Lesnar leaving WWE? And the rise of Seth Rollins. All that in a loaded edition of the Pro Wrestling Report Primetime tomorrow, one full hour right here on this same channel. But in the meantime, folks, check us out on our social media channels, including Twitter, at PWR Show on Twitter, YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash Max Sports, and Facebook, facebook.com slash PWR Show. Obviously, you can always no, check no, us out no. when you and get all those Max links. Sports, it's M-A-X. Not M A C K S sports. Who would have thought that? I did. I articulated That's... Max. That you can't tell the difference between an X and a CK. <laughs> All you have to do is X. X. I could also go to pwrshow.com and follow us at all those channels as well. For that one, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you tomorrow for Primetime. Back again.